Hey, how would it be if you just didn't feel the pain at all? No pain with crushed finger, twisted ankle or no pain during the delivery, no pain on banging the head to a low ceiling, no pain of heartbreak. Oh wait, no, that's different. That would still be there. So have you wondered if you just didn't feel pain at all? Sounds great, right? No, of course, it is not so great. Well, in reality, there is a condition which exists where the patient doesn't feel any physical pain at all. And this condition is called as congenital insensitivity to pain. The name says it all. People affected with this condition just do not feel any pain. Well, you know what? There is also a Bollywood movie on this concept. But of course, Bollywood is with its own masala and doesn't really tell you much about the condition as such. The fact is that this condition is really scary and the patients usually do not make it till the adulthood. They usually die of a lot of unnoticed injuries to the body because they just don't feel any pain of that. It could be a burn injury, it could be some fatal fracture, it would be some other wound which just doesn't heal and gets infected because of repeated trauma on that and so on and so forth. Well, people with this condition may have all the other sensations absolutely normal and they may even have normal intelligence. Well, of course, it is not necessary. They may have other problems as well. But most of the time, patients with this disease have everything else as normal. But they end up getting a lot of injuries, including injuries to the cornea of the eye because of the foreign bodies which might get into the pain and they just don't realize it. They may have multiple injuries in the mouth because of unnoticed bite to the tongue or the lip or they may have dental caries because they don't feel any dental pain, etc. And as I told previously, sometimes there may be some major injuries which also may go unnoticed and may pose a threat to their life. Well, of course, this is a very, very rare condition and seen mainly in one of the village in Sweden called as Vittangi village, if I'm not wrong. So most of the time, the problem in this is that there are a few genetic mutations in some of their genes most common being SCN9A mutation. And of course, if that gene is mutated, as of now, nothing much can be done in its treatment. A drug called as naloxone, which is basically an opioid antagonist, is tried with some minimal benefit, but otherwise, nothing much can be done. Just let's have a look at this video where a patient describes about his own condition. One incident that I remember is um, breaking my foot on my birthday and it was swollen and bruised. So I took some duct tape and duct taped my foot, put on a boot. So I just continued on with my day. My name is Stephen Pete and I was born unable to feel pain. My parents realized I couldn't feel pain when I was a toddler and chewed off half of my tongue. They then took me to a doctor and the doctor ran a series of tests to confirm that I had this condition. My name is Jeff Woods. I have two jobs. I'm a clinical geneticist at Anna Brooks Hospital, working for the NHS, and my other half job is I'm an academic in the University of Cambridge, Department of Medical Genetics. Congenital insensitivity to pain has been a disorder people have known about for a long time, but not everyone believed it existed. When we investigated children and families who had congenital insensitivity to pain, what we found was that all of the families had mutations in one gene called SCN9A. It's an interesting molecule because we never expected that a single molecule would control all pain felt in humans. So how does it do it? It seems that SCN9A sits on very specific neurons in your body, and those are the neurons which actually sense pain. You have to be hypervigilant in your day-to-day -day task to avoid causing serious injury to yourself. If you're unable to feel the pain from an injury, then you need to know how to detect the injury in another way. At a young age, we 
tend to say ouch whenever we bump into something just as a way to inform ourselves that there may have been something that may have caused an injury. Wearing a helmet similar to this is a, a great tool for uh, parents who have children with this condition to keep their heads safe um, because at a young age like myself I would like to bang my head against the wall because I like the feeling of the vibration. To test Stephen to see if he's got congenital sensitivity to pain caused by SCN9A all I need to do is get a blood sample from him then in the DNA laboratory back in Cambridge we'll extract the DNA and we'll sequence all the exons of the SCN9A gene like we're reading chapters of a book and we're looking for spelling mistakes. Talking to Stephen it's very clear he doesn't feel pain, he has no sense of smell, his intelligence is normal, he can temperature sense. Therefore, the clinical diagnosis is congenital intensity to pain. I therefore expect to find two mutations in his SCN9A gene, one of which he came, got from his father, one from his mother, and I'd expect both of those mutations to deactivate the gene from working properly. If you could block SCN9A in a person who is feeling pain, say from a broken bone or from an operation, you should be able to completely block all their pain without any side effect that matters. The fact that this specific genetic mutation could be used to help people who are in extreme cases of pain is quite exciting. So, in short, Pain is not really our enemy and it is in a way a friend that it alerts our own body about the danger to itself. So not having pain is not really something that we can be happy about. So I hope you like this short bit of information about pain. And if so, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And for more such interesting videos, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.